Brian at Connected Home. Today we want to give you a demonstrational video on how to use the watch and listen functions on your Control 4 remote. We're going to have our Sony TV here as the backdrop so you can see what's happening on screen while we're giving you close-ups of the remote as we navigate through the menu. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and dive into the watch and listen functions. Now, most of these are going to be straightforward, but we still want to give you a quick demo on exactly how they work. So now that we have the TV going, perfect time for us to start with our first function, watch. Now up here on the top left of the remote, we do have our watch button. And that is going to bring up all of our different sources. We have our Dish Network, our Blu-ray player, our Apple TV, Roku. YouTube, Sling, a lot of the different apps that a lot of people will normally use, we've already got preloaded on the front. Another great thing about this is while we're on cable, let me show you our quick channel selection. You can actually save favorites in here, so you can go to your favorite channels really quick. Currently, we're on HGTV. Let's switch over to Sci-Fi real quick. It's going to go ahead and change the channel for us, bring up what's currently on Sci-Fi. And speaking of Dish, just like on your normal remote, you do have your guide. So you can actually hit your guide as well. This will bring up all your channels so you can flip through, see what's actually going on. Or at the bottom of the remote, we do have our number pad so you can dial in a direct channel. But we don't want to watch cable. So let's say we want to go ahead and get a Blu-ray play. Let's switch over to our Blu-ray player. It's going to cut that dish off for us and switch sources. You'll notice we have our Blu-ray label down there at the bottom showing that we're currently on Guardians of the Galaxy. It's asking us if we want to continue where we left off or start over, but we don't want to watch Guardians of the Galaxy. So we're going to go back to watch and we are going to switch over, for instance, to our Apple TV. Once again, it's going to switch the video sources for us, pull up that Apple TV. And one great thing about the Apple TV as well as the Roku, we can program the Control 4 remote to be able to use the remote for the Apple TV or the Roku. So that way you're still down to one remote and you don't have to have tons of different remotes laying around. But that's the basics of the watch function. Once again, scroll through the little menu so you can see everything here. You're just using your directional pad to go up and down. And then whenever you find a source you want, for instance, like our Roku, all you'll do is hit select. That'll switch the source and bring up your desired channel or application now see we've got our hulu on there for the roku right now that little screensaver just floating around but let's say we have some people coming over a little bit later we don't want to watch tv and have everybody distracted but we want some nice background music to set the mood so notice over here on the right we have our listen button so we can select on the listen it's going to go ahead and bring up that menu which is very similar to the watch menu it's going to show all the different apps we have. You have the AirPlay feature for your Apple TV so you can stream off your phone. Or let's say you want to go to Pandora. So we can go over to Pandora. It's going to kick on the station we were listening to last. And you can scroll down and look through all of your current stations. Or you can go ahead and add some more. Now you'll notice on the TV it's gone to our Control 4 menu because there's no video source selected. Now we got Pandora and Deezer up on the main screen here. And with our remote, we can control the volume for the music and the TV with the same volume button. So let's turn that down for a minute so you can actually hear me. But let's say we don't want to listen to Pandora anymore, we want to switch over to Deezer. So all we have to do is hit our listen button one more time. And that's going to bring up all the different apps we have for music. We can switch over to Deezer and start a flow coming from there. And now it's going to switch the audio source just like that. Start picking up the Deezer for us instead of the Pandora. Very seamless, very easy. And then, now that we've seen the basic functions of the listen, let's go ahead and hit the watch. We want to switch back to TV. So we hit the watch button again. Let's go ahead down and select just our Dish Network. With that direction, we're going to hit select. Now it's going to go ahead and cut off the audio coming from our apps. It's going to switch the audio back to the TV so that way you can actually hear your Dish Network or your Blu-ray or whichever other app you've actually selected. Now that's the basics for the watch and list. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any further questions, please reach out to us at 910-317-0876. 
And don't forget, you can always find us online at connectedhomenc.com. We'll see you for the next video.